I used to call them singers, and I used to sort of laugh on, under my breath at the term actor. The running joke in the opera world is that, you know, we can all sing really well, but we can't really act. There's a lot of singers that are like, I am just a singer, but if you're going to be an opera singer, you're going to be an actor. We live in a world where these things have changed a great deal, and audience expectation is that they come and they see theater. Now you've got to stand on stage and you've got to be that person. You have to portray the character through the music that's given to you and through what they're saying. You've got to sing these notes and these words as if you are inventing them at the very moment. That's a tricky skill. When I first heard that we were doing Romeo and Juliet, I was like, oh great, now I have to really like bone up on my French. We are expected to be semi-fluent in five languages. Learning how to sing in each one of those foreign languages is still a challenge and will be for a long time. American singers in particular, we don't have as much exposure to foreign languages in our school system, so it was something that, um, that wasn't immediately natural to me. A lot of people know the story, a lot of people know about Juliet. It does put a lot of pressure on an actor to because you know it's she's been played how many millions of times. <laughs> It's difficult to play the part of Romeo because you really have to go back to a place in which you can feel innocent love for the first time. I kind of thought a lot about what it would be like to be 16 again. Romeo and Juliet are both so young and they're both like feeling this experience for the first time. It's about as, you know, innocent and pure as it gets. We start to put things together as a group, still just with piano, the piano serving as the sort of orchestra for the moment. And the singers all traditionally are very excited to sing with the orchestra because they've been waiting and waiting, they've been doing it all with piano and they finally get to sing with the orchestra. I love doing orchestra rehearsals. I think they're my favorite part of the rehearsal process. Yesterday for the first time we ended up here in the pit. So we're below the stage. We're, we're just in front of the stage and below the stage a little bit. The first rehearsal is always a bit of a shock because of the space. Uh, it's like being in a cave. <laughs> it's pretty fascinating. We're describing it like being in an airplane. There's only one door and it's on the far side so we have to load the pit as if you're loading an airplane by sections. Every time I come in here I think, oh, is this going to work? Is this going to fit? This is one of the largest orchestras we've ever had. We're a little crowded down here. We can't really see the stage, we can't really see the audience, and we can barely see the conductor, many of us. If we're doing our job well, you're not going to know that we're here. In this opera, the notes themselves on the page are not difficult. They're the usual challenges of, you know, sounding like an orchestra, playing together, breathing together. For me, the thing about opera is the dramatic element of the music. Why is this crescendo happening? Why is this note short? Why does it need to sound violent? When something dramatic and sudden is happening, that moment, that suspense, ya ta 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 Bang, there's the sound. I would rather have them invest in a dramatic reason to play it technically a certain way because then they feel like they're really telling the story. You're one part of a huge team that's all making something that's bigger than any of you could be as single, as single components. And being a part of that is really exciting. To have that sound underneath you and all those players are working with you at the same time, it's just something magical about it. And I think that's why I continue to be an opera singer is because you, you can't get that feeling away, the high of having all of that come together to make something very beautiful. Oh, <laughs>